Hi everyone, welcome to day 269 of my 365 day gratitude journal. And I'm sorry I'm sort of wheezy and sounding all stuffily and kerfluffily, but I am. I, uh, thank goodness, had my cold set in after I got back from my vacation. But unfortunately, I was supposed to have my little wonderful grandson and buddy Will sleeping over tonight. And it was difficult to make a phone call this morning to have to be very open and honest about the fact, especially right before the holidays come crashing in, that I'm home and I was in denial that a cold was setting in on me until this morning when I woke up and I was stuffed up and coughing and I want you guys to know I'm feeling all right. I'm just run down a little bit. And after I make this post, I'm gonna take myself a bath and a nap. But I'm sad because I don't get to be with little Will Pie because he's the best partner ever for hanging out. And that's a little bit of a loss. But in the long run though, I think it was the best decision overall. When you're sick, you have to think beyond yourself and you have to think of all the others that you might be affecting. But that's not what my gratitude's about today. After all these days, 269 of them so far, I've talked a bit about Daryl, my guy, and I love him so much. And for his birthday in March, I'm going to do my gratitude literally about him. But I haven't much mentioned his beautiful, incredible family. And I am so grateful for his family. He has two wonderful children. They are similar in age to my two children, and they are successful and strong. Um, his son has beautiful family and lovely kids, an incredible life mate. His daughter is so smart and such a, a with it, quick thinking, funny, intense, wonderful woman. Her life mate is a lovely man and wonderful. And Daryl's parents are such interesting people. They're very different from um, how I grew up. They wear their hearts right on their sleeve. They say whatever is on their mind. And sometimes, like when I first met them, I was taken a little bit aback. And then over all these years, um, getting to know them and really understanding that there's something really refreshing to people that mean it, say it, blurt it out, they don't hesitate, they put their thoughts and their their hearts right on the line. And at first I had to I had to really learn to flow with a vibe. Now it doesn't mean that I come from a family that wasn't open and honest, but I come from a family where um, if you're upset, you still keep a lid on your anger or your passions. Um, uh, kind of not making others sometimes uncomfortable with bursts of emotions and things. I grew up like that. Um, uh, I, I guess uh, I'm very happy for that. Uh, good communicating, but a little more wound up, a little more, a little more cinched in. And with his family, it is this incredible blurting and experiencing and feeling. You always know where everybody stands. You always know exactly where you're at. It's challenging. It's interesting. It's fun. It challenges my mind in the best way. These are people who love me very much. They are cheering me on no matter what I'm doing. If, if there's something that we need to discuss, if there's been any, anything that we're disagreeing on, I know that all I have to do is call and have a very direct, frank discussion with them. And we clear the air. We get right to it real quick. And I'm so grateful for that. I've learned to blurt out my exact feelings much more in the last decade since I've been wonderfully involved with him and his family. I'm much more confident and comfortable talking to strangers. I used to avoid that and tippy toe around it with some anxiety. Um, when I would have something I wanted to say and didn't say it, I would brood a little bit. Hi, Andre. Nice to see you on here. Yay. <laughs> I love you very much. But I, I want to say that I'm so grateful for not only them and who they are, but also all of the amazing things that I've learned from Daryl's incredible strong family. His kids have helped teach me um, communication. Uh, uh, watching sort of the dynamics between Daryl and his children is very different than the dynamics between me and mine. And to learn that it doesn't have to be the same. 
it, it's so beautiful in its uniqueness and I just I'm so grateful for that I'm so grateful for having such a close relationship with someone who has a very unique and different family from mine who I have learned to expand myself and to perceive the world and how I experience myself within that space from meeting people who really do say it, blurt it, feel it, live it right out there. There's no tippy toeing, there's no hiding it. That's something to be really grateful for. And it has been quite an adventure and I continue to love every day and every moment that I exchange with them, especially as mom. She calls me every year on my birthday and sings happy birthday to me. And she called years ago and left me a recording of it and I still have it and every now and then I just listen to it because I love hearing her sing. So if you guys are watching, I want you to know how much I love you, all of you, Ricky, Holly, Hannah, and Mark. And I also wanna thank you for welcoming me into your family. I, I am overwhelmingly grateful and very blessed. Have a good day, everybody.